Okay, I just read on the Mary's Mini on the Dr. McDougall's website that you can have one. Okay, so today is day one of the Mary's Mini diet. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go watch this video. And basically it's a diet where you eat just potatoes and vegetables and stay active. So I'm gonna run you through my first day. And I know some of you are coming along for the ride, so I'm rooting for you. Oh, and as a side note, you can probably tell that I'm still at my parents' house for the next couple days. So I'm not gonna make it hard on myself. I say whenever you have resources, use them. So in this video and probably the next couple videos, I'll be using their stove or microwave or whatever, but you can still cook potatoes in your van or vehicle. And I'll be doing that in some upcoming videos. So don't think you can't do it because you definitely can. All right, now let's get on to the action. Okay, because it's so hot in the desert, I got my day started at 6.30 a.m. And I did mostly a walk up and down the hills with a little bit of jogging in between just to burn a little more calories. That ended up being about 5,500 steps and almost three miles. I usually don't eat breakfast. I usually just have coffee. But since I'm only eating potatoes and not coffee, I've been more hungry in the morning. So I decided to do a traditional breakfast of hash browns. I bought the frozen Orida potato shreds and I rinsed them underwater to remove some of the starch and then I wrung it out with my hands. Then I added better than bouillon, just about a teaspoon there, and mix it around. Now this particular one has oil in it, a little bit of oil in it, so I guess that's why it sticks a little bit better, uh, but it's not too, too much, so I'm not really that concerned about it. And then I added some onion and herb, Mrs. Dash, which I don't know that I love like 100%. I think I love just like onion powder better, but whatever. And then I also added some garlic and herb powder from Mrs. Dash and mixed it up. Then I put some of this red pepper and onion blend into a skillet, no oil. And because it's already frozen, it just uses the water. And I just fried it up until it was a little bit brown on the onions. Then I scooped the pepper and onion mixture into the raw potato shreds, stirred it up, and this is what it looks like. Then I scooped it onto some aluminum foil spread it around so it's a nice even layer and that's what it looks like then i put it in to this air fryer which this one's one of the flat ninja kinds but you can use any air fryer wait are you not part of the snack pack yet oh my gosh what are you doing hit that subscribe button and the notification bell throw a like on this video and keep watching to the end to see what other potato masterpieces i come up with and i put it down to 360 just because usually it burns and i don't love burnt hash browns and then I just did it for five minutes. After five minutes, I checked it and it wasn't done at all. So I stirred it around and did another five minutes and then came back again and it still wasn't done. So it was a total of 18 minutes. So I'd say you could probably do nine minutes stirred around and then nine more minutes and it would be just right. So the edges are a little bit more brown, which is great because then you'll get some parts a little bit softer and some parts a little bit more crunchy. It sucks because you can't really use oil as a way to keep it from sticking to the tin foil, but that's okay. It still came off into the bowl. It looked pretty good, so I was ready to dive in. So I grabbed my ketchup, squirted a little bit on there and gave it a taste. And I was surprised that it was pretty flavorful, but I wanted to add one more thing. And I am definitely not someone that adds salt to food, hardly ever, 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 but you know, I, I'm not eating any oil or butter or anything like that. So I added a little bit of salt and maybe a little bit more and just one more for the road stirred it around gave it a try and it was actually very tasty i was not mad at this meal thumbs up on this one next it was lunchtime about one o'clock and so i grabbed one of the red potato blend mixtures and just put it in the microwave for five minutes basically it just steams it up like the camera's getting steamed up now and it's just a basic blend it's nothing spectacular so you definitely want to season this with something i mean Typically I'd use butter, but I can't in this case. So I just used some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. Salt free. And then just a little sprinkle. Can't put any butter. So I hope this livens it up. And this is what it looks like all seasoned up. Let me see if this even tastes good with the seasoning only. But, I mean, it's not like a creamy delight, but I might put a little bit more seasoning on here, but it's fine. 
I can get this going. Also, it's not a huge portion, so I don't know if I'll be hungry later, but if so, I don't know what. I'll grab something else. So I'm eating this red potato and veggie mixture, steam in a bag thing. And I'm noticing that I didn't put two and two together, but there's corn in here. And I was just thinking, you know, it's just vegetables, but it's a starch and it's on its own. So on the Mary's Mini, you're only supposed to pick one starch and corn is one that can be on its own for the full 10 days. So I'm really not supposed to be having corn on this seven to 10 day plan. But I'm not going to get like super extreme extreme because number one, I'm hungry. And number two, it's still a vegetable and I won't buy it again. But the two packages that I already bought, I'm going to use it because I'm not going to waste food. And it's not the most amount of corn. I would imagine this is like a fourth of a cup or less of corn. So calm down. If I don't lose four ounces off of this, then I'll be okay with that. I've also been staying hydrated with this awesome water bottle. And you can get one similarly like this on the Travel Snacks merch store. But it'll be even better because it'll have the Travel Snacks logo on it. Stay hydrated. Okay, I just read on the Mary's Mini on the Dr. McDougall's website that you can have one piece of fruit a day. Everybody else was saying you can't have fruit. And maybe it's not the greatest idea to have fruit, but I'm thinking like, that's... That's like dessert right now. So this banana is gigantic. So I'm gonna eat half now. And I mean, after dinner, I'm gonna see how I feel. And if I want a little after dinner treat, this still falls into my one fruit. So I'm gonna eat half now as a little snack. Mm. It's like banana cream pie. It's like the best surprise ever. All right, I decided to make it easy on myself and wash all these potatoes at once so I don't have to keep doing it every time I want a meal because that's extra time. And when you can only eat one thing, you just want to grab and go. So I dumped it into the sink and rinsed it off. I used a little sprayer module thingy. Then nothing fancy, I just kind of rubbed off any excess dirt and put them all into the other side of the sink. I also clearly don't know how to wash things because my arms and my shirt got super wet. And this is why you should always wash your potatoes because there's excess dirt and you don't want to be eating that. So I just brought each one out of the sink and just dried them off a little bit. Then I grabbed a bowl and put them in there. So it'll be easy to just grab one when I'm ready for them. Now, one of the things that I learned from other people doing Mary's Mini is that you should always cook up a big batch of potatoes so that you have them ready for when you want to eat. So I grabbed about 10 potatoes, stabbed them up and cut off any pieces that didn't look great. Put them on a baking sheet cooked it for 30 minutes on one side, came back, flipped them all over, and cooked it for another 30 minutes on the other side, and then I had nice golden baked potatoes. And with the unbaked potatoes with the leftovers that I just washed, I just put them in this little bed, and I just covered it up because they're taking a nap until I'm ready to eat them. All right, I really don't love baked potatoes unless they have a bunch of butter, but I can't have butter, so I didn't even know why I baked so many potatoes. But anyways, I already did it, so I decided to have two baked potatoes for dinner. And it's very difficult to cut these open when you're just using one hand. But basically, I cut them and then squeezed them open with some tongs. Then I added some garlic and herb Mrs. Dash seasoning and gave it a little spritz of mustard. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and there's a couple, their YouTube channels called Crocs in the Kitchen and they had a lot of good recipes and a lot of good tips for getting through this Mary's Mini. So I'm just mixing up this baked potato and they said to try mustard on the potato and apparently it makes it a creamy taste. Just give it a try. Okay, no joke. I mean, it's not cream and butter, but it's definitely better than zero things and just basic spices. All right, I think that's a winner. I also added a little bit of ketchup as well. So it was almost kind of like a hamburger <laughs> with mustard and ketchup and uh, just a potato. And because I had no coffee and because I'm not eating like I usually do, I was super tired and falling asleep by 7.45. And no, I didn't eat the other half of that banana. And I'll start again tomorrow morning. I'll let you know how it goes. So I'm eating this red pit. The raw onion tr and I put it on three. I put it and I put it down to three.
and I put it down to three because <coughs> I used a little power pressure. I used a little super wet. Oh. I also cleared out, but it'll be even better because it'll have the travel sex note. <laughs> Snack time. Snack time.